Wire Guru. We're getting ready to go into week three. Uh, yeah, this is an iPad. Of course, I've got an iPad. I sell iPad apps, and I'm just a gadget geek. So here we go. It's like my teleprompter here. Are you about as frustrated as I am with the QB situation in the NFL? It's ridiculous, right? I want to go through some of the quarterbacks right now that are kind of in the um, doghouse, per se, whether they're going to, what I think that they're going to be benched the rest of the season, or if these are guys that are likely to get benched during a game, which means that someone you are frustrated with having to start your fantasy football team. I'm going to start with Trent Edwards. He's probably going to be permanently benched on Buffalo. So if you were depending on him, I'm really sorry, but he's gone. Ryan Fitzpatrick's coming in. Next, Matt Moore. He's going to get benched in favor of Jimmy Clausen, young quarterback. Um, talk about him in a little bit. Uh, next, after that, Jason Campbell got benched. I do think he's going to get another chance, but he better watch out because Bruce Gradkowski looked okay, um, and he looked very pretty junky. So, you know, Campbell makes me nervous if you've got him. Uh, next is David Garrard. He got benched at the end there. I don't think he's going to lose his job, but again, another guy, when you see your quarterback getting benched, this is a red flag. It's not good. Next, Derek Anderson got benched. He's probably going to continue to start as well. And then also Vince Young got benched, and he'll get he'll probably continue to start. But the guys that are probably going to be permanently benched are your Trent Edwards and also Matt Moore. So let's talk about quarterbacks who I want you to grab. I want you to grab Sam Bradford. This kid is actually very talented, okay, and he's being noticed around the NFL as well. He's got something. He's talented. I like him in a dynasty format. I would grab him. Okay, uh, especially if I just named a quarterback that you have, even as a backup, you know, Bradford's not going to get benched. You know, only time Bradford's going to be pulled out is for injury. So there's a guy, you know, you can grab. Who am I watching? I'm watching Max Hall. You know, he's backing up Derek Anderson. Wisenhunt's going to stay with Anderson, but Max Hall's interesting just because the receiving core um, on um, the Cardinals is interesting. So Max Hall, keep an eye on him. I'm also watching Charlie Whitehurst. Um, for all you Matt Hasselback owners, I hate to break it to you, but he's probably not going to make it all the way through the season. Uh, he'll, he'll probably get benched. Um, he's been throwing a lot of interceptions. Uh, they've been winning games, uh, so that might keep him in. But Charlie Whitehurst is, whip, is nipping at his heels, someone to watch. And then finally, a spot starter, talked about him earlier, is Jimmy Clausen. He's a new starter in Carolina. Is he going to come in and blow the doors off? No. Uh, but if you need a spot starter, maybe you had Jason Campbell, he made you nervous. Uh, Trent Edwards, if you're in a 2QB league. You know, go ahead, grab Jimmy Clausen, uh, two QB leaguers, or if you need a spot starter in case of injury or permanent benching, then, you know, look his way. Let's move on to running back. Who should you grab? Grab Marshawn Lynch. If he's sitting on your waiver wire, he shouldn't be, but if he is, he was featured this week against Green Bay. The reason he was featured is because Buffalo is trying to trade him, okay? He may end up on Green Bay, which may be ridiculous, um, but Marshawn Lynch was being featured uh, probably for a potential trade, so I would grab him and stash him. Let's see what happens there. Uh, I don't think he's going to be featured a whole heck of a lot longer on Buffalo. I think the long-term solution there is Fred Jackson, and obviously C.J. Spiller is going to be the extra long-term solution. So, you know, Marshawn Lynch, grab him. He could have a huge upside if he gets traded. Uh, next, you got to have Jason Snelling. I would grab him. Why? Michael Turner has just proven that he gets injured. And when he gets a little bit injured, they just pull him. So he's a handcuff um, right now. I'm, I'm pretty sure Michael Turner will play next week, so don't go starting Jason Snelling. But I like to have someone like Snelling, who we know is talented enough if he gets a start, where if Turner goes down, you know, bam, you know, let's stay ahead of him. You know, Brandon Jackson, that was unexpected, you know, um, in Green Bay. So we're going to try and stay ahead of the curve in Jason Snelling. Next, who am I watching? Ben Jarvis Green Ellis. Ben Jarvis Green Ellis, they call him the law firm, starting to get some carries. I don't really like New England's backfield situation. I don't like having to even think about relying on him. But with Lawrence Maroney out, you can look at Ben Jarvis Green Ellis as someone that you might want to pick up. And then as a spot starter is Mike Tolbert. Uh, Ryan Matthews, he, in my opinion, had a little bit more serious of an injury. They're saying he could play next week, but I bet you he sits a week. And Mike Tolbert is a really nice sleeper for next week. Um, if you need a running back. So Mike Tolbert from um, San Diego. Moving on to wide receiver, here's my favorite pick of the whole video. It's Demarius Thomas finally getting his start, coming off a foot injury. Demarius Thomas in Denver just looks studly. He's full of raw talent. That's the future in Denver. Demarius Thomas can be an ultra-talented, huge upside. I don't even know if I can say anymore, but he's probably sitting on your waiver wire. Um, Demarius Thomas, just go get him. 
Uh, next, Dion Butler. Um, he looked okay. I'm watching him in Seattle. Um, you know, he's been fairly productive. And, uh, you know, there you go. And next is Devin Hester in Chicago. Um, Devin Hester uh, looked fairly good and um, could be somebody that you might want to go ahead and grab um, as a spot starter. Um, Aroma Shadu is not panning out. And here's my cat. Um, this is Luca, my cat being horrible. So we'll get him off the table there so I can finish the video. So there you go. Uh, fun stuff. Finally, tight end, um, Aaron Hernandez in New England. Uh, we've talked about him before. He's a grab. So grab Aaron Hernandez um, in New England, especially just have him there if your tight end is underperforming uh, or maybe you waited really late in the draft for a tight end and is not quite producing. Aaron Hernandez looks like the go-to guy there. Um, pretty interesting play. Young guy. You know, go grab him. And I'm watching, uh, not watching, excuse me, spot starter if you, you know, injury. You know, maybe you drafted Kevin Boss. He's out or, you know, whatever your tight end's underperforming. I'm not wild about this guy, but if I had to spot start someone, Tony Milwaukee, um, you know, rookie there in Kansas City, you know, he's getting looks. I'm not wild about Kansas City um, having someone like that, but, you know, at the end of the day, uh, it's somebody interesting. If you need a spot starter, uh, Tony could be someone you look at. That's it. Um, that is it for week three. Um, check out HattieWaverWireGuru.com. Email me, HattieWaverWireGuru at HattieWaverWireGuru.com. If your league, you know, is a pay league and, you know, maybe you're a commissioner, you might want to convince your um, league to get one of these trophies here. Uh, they're super awesome and last a long time. I mean, I'm going to have this for a long time. You know, another league I won, won, you know, 70 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever. It's gone. I don't even know what I spent it on. But these guys, you know, I keep them up on my mantle, up on my bookshelf, um, and they're pretty awesome. You can find them on the website. You know, I'd recommend them. Anyway, that's the end of my sales pitch there. Have a great week. Work the waiver wires. Email me if you need help. Kick butt.